Ever wondered, does Medicare cover mental health? It's a question that cuts to the heart of our well-being. Today, we delve into the nitty-gritty of this vital topic. So buckle up because, well, you're in the right place to get the answers. To understand whether Medicare covers mental health, it's crucial to know what Medicare is. Medicare, in its simplest form, is a federal health insurance program. It was established in the middle of the 20th century, in 1965 to be exact, and it primarily serves individuals who are 65 years or older. It also caters to certain younger people with disabilities and individuals. With end-stage renal disease, a condition that leads to permanent kidney failure. But why is Medicare so important? Well, think about the high cost of health care services. From doctor's visits to medication, hospital stays to specialized treatments. Health care can put a significant financial burden on individuals, particularly those who are older or battling chronic illnesses. This is where Medicare steps in. It provides a safety net, ensuring that millions of Americans can access and afford the health care services they need. Medicare is divided into several parts, each covering different aspects of health care. Part A, often referred to as hospital insurance, covers inpatient hospital stays. Care in a skilled nursing facility, hospice care, and some home health care. Part B, or medical insurance covers certain doctor's services, outpatient care, medical supplies, and preventive services. Then there's Part C, also known as Medicare Advantage. This is an alternative to original Medicare, offered by private companies approved by Medicare. And it includes all benefits and services covered under Parts A and B. Most Medicare Advantage plans also offer prescription drug coverage. Last but not least, we have Part D, which adds prescription drug coverage to original Medicare. It's a crucial part of the puzzle, especially given the high cost of many medications. Each part of Medicare is designed to work together, providing a comprehensive healthcare safety net to those who need it most. Beneficiaries pay premiums for some parts of Medicare, while others are funded by payroll taxes and federal funds. So, Medicare is a vital program providing health insurance to millions of Americans. But does it cover mental health? Let's find out. Before we continue, remember to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll join our community of like-minded individuals. Together, we can achieve success and wealth as we learn, grow, and support each other. Click subscribe now, and let's dive back into today's topic. Now, to answer the burning question, does Medicare cover mental health? In short, yes. Medicare does cover mental health services, but it's not as straightforward as you might think. It's all about the specifics, and understanding these can make all the difference in accessing the care you need. Medicare is divided into several parts, each covering different aspects of health care. Part A covers hospital insurance, which includes inpatient mental health care in a general or psychiatric hospital. Part B covers medical insurance, providing coverage for outpatient care, such as visits to a psychiatrist or other mental health provider, outpatient mental health services, and partial hospitalization services. Part D, the prescription drug coverage, also plays a significant role in mental health care, as it covers most medically necessary mental health drugs. However, the extent of coverage can vary. For instance, Part B generally covers 60% of the Medicare-approved amount for mental health services after you meet your yearly deductible. What about therapy sessions, you ask? 
Medicare Part B does cover therapy, including individual and group psychotherapy, family counseling when necessary for your treatment, and testing to determine if you're getting the services you need and if they're helping you. But here's the catch. While Medicare covers mental health services, it doesn't mean everything is fully covered. There could be co-pays, deductibles, and co-insurances that you'll need to pay out of pocket. Plus, there may be limits on the number of sessions or types of services covered. Additionally, Medicare only covers services provided by healthcare providers who accept Medicare. So, it's crucial to confirm that your provider accepts Medicare before starting treatment. It's also worth noting that if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, these plans must cover all the same services as original Medicare. But they can apply different rules, costs, and restrictions. So, yes, Medicare does provide coverage for mental health, but it's important to understand the details. It's about knowing what's covered, how much you'll need to pay, and who provides the services. Armed with this knowledge, you can take the necessary steps towards mental health care. Knowing that Medicare covers mental health is one thing, but how do you access these services? It's a valid question and one that we're going to demystify right now. To start, understand that accessing mental health services through Medicare typically requires a referral. This can come from your primary care doctor or another healthcare provider who believes you might benefit from these services. So, if you're feeling symptoms of anxiety, depression, or any other mental health concerns, make sure to communicate these feelings to your healthcare provider. They can then guide you through the process of obtaining a referral. Once you've got your referral, the next step is finding a provider. This can sometimes feel like hunting for a needle in a haystack, but don't worry, there are resources available to help. Medicare has an online tool called the Physician Compare Tool, where you can find and compare healthcare providers in your area that accept Medicare. Alternatively, your primary care doctor can often recommend a mental health provider. Now, Let's talk about potential costs. Medicare Part B covers mental health services, and you typically pay 20% of the Medicare approved amount for the service. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, your costs may be different, so check with your plan provider. Remember, if you're having trouble affording these services, there are resources available to help. Remember, Mental health is just as important as physical health. If you're struggling, don't hesitate to reach out for help. Medicare is here to assist you in accessing the care you need. Accessing mental health services through Medicare may seem complicated, but with the right information, it can be navigated successfully. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. There are many resources and individuals ready to help guide you through this process, ensuring you receive the care you deserve. What's the real story behind using Medicare for mental health services? Well, let's dive into the experiences of actual beneficiaries. Of course, all names and identifying details have been changed to preserve anonymity. First up, we have John. John suffered from severe anxiety and depression. Initially, he was hesitant about seeking help, concerned about the costs. When he discovered that his Medicare plan covered mental health services, it was a game-changing moment for him. He was able to access psychotherapy sessions, and over time, he began to see an improvement in his mental health. However, he did face challenges. Finding a therapist who accepted Medicare wasn't easy, and he had to navigate co-payments and deductibles. But John insists that despite the challenges, the benefits far outweighed the hurdles. Next, 
meet Sophia. Sophia was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She found that her Medicare plan covered not only her regular doctor visits, but also her psychiatric consultations and medications. Sophia found solace in group therapy sessions, which were also covered under her plan. But like John, Sophia too faced some challenges. She had to invest time to understand her plan details and sometimes had to wait for appointments due to high demand. Yet, she believes that Medicare was instrumental in her journey towards better mental health. Finally, let's talk about David. David was a caregiver to his wife, who had dementia. He availed of counseling services through Medicare to help him cope with the stress. David appreciated the coverage for caregiver support, but he found the system complex to navigate at times. Despite the complexity, David says the support he received was invaluable. These stories paint a real picture of using Medicare for mental health services. Yes, there are hurdles finding providers, understanding plan specifics, and sometimes waiting for appointments. But the common thread in all these stories is the immense benefit these individuals derived from their coverage. These patient experiences highlight the reality of using Medicare for mental health services. It's not always easy, but it's definitely possible. Now that you know the basics, how can you navigate the Medicare system for mental health services? First and foremost, understanding your coverage is crucial. Medicare Part B covers outpatient mental health services, including therapy sessions and preventive screenings. Medicare Part A handles inpatient care if you need to be hospitalized. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan, it must cover at least the same level of services as original Medicare. To maximize your coverage, make sure to use providers who accept Medicare. Doing so can help you avoid out-of-pocket costs. And remember to keep track of your visits and services to ensure they're covered. Minimizing costs is another important consideration. Costs can vary, so it's essential to understand your deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance. For instance, for outpatient mental health services, you typically pay 20% of the Medicare approved amount after you've met your Part B deductible. But with a Medicare supplement insurance can provide resources and support for those dealing with mental health issues. Finally, remember that mental health is just as important as physical health. Don't neglect your mental well-being. Seek help when you need it and know that Medicare is there to support you. With these tips in hand, you're ready to navigate the Medicare system for mental health services. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We dove into what Medicare is, examined its mental health coverage, discussed how to access these services, shared some patient experiences, and offered tips for navigating the system. Remember, mental health is just as important as physical health and Medicare is here to support you in taking care of both. Thanks for watching. Embrace the shadows, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video. Until then, harness the darkness and forge your path to greatness.